Identify how this instructor dramatizes her demonstration. In detail. That's called the posterior neuropore. And then we've got one up here where my head is. This is the anterior neuropore where the brain is going to form. And so that finally, you might get a little tiny hole right at the top where the brain is. But then, just completely closes like that. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's for CTL. All right. <laughs> Okay, so if we look at what has really happened, if we look down at the dorsal surface, one can see that sort of zippering taking place. So here in this figure, you see where the neural folds have come together in the middle, and they're going to be zippering closed in both directions. In her interview, she explains why she presents dramatic, acting-like behavior, and how she uses role-playing in this large class. I have not had any formal training in acting or drama, although I did do some very bad acting in college and just after college. But I'm very comfortable with the idea of teaching as acting in certain circumstances. The key thing in the way I try to relate to the students is both to let them see my absolute love for this subject and to let them know that there is nothing so stupid that I won't do if it's going to help them to understand and to relate to the material. And so that's, you know, that's really fun for me to sort of think of these demonstrations that will pull people in, grab their attention, make them laugh, but I've got them the whole time. They're there. There isn't a person in that room that's reading the newspaper. <laughs>